Hey everyone, Paula Aponte here, EXP Realty and Team BC in Lakeland, Florida. And I wanted to just shoot a quick video to talk to you about how to make your real estate business grow. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. And before we start, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading as always new content and information to share with you. And if you are a new real estate agent or even a seasoned real estate agent, I'm sure you will find information that's going to be extremely helpful to you. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And of course, at the end of the video, if you've liked what you've seen, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All right, so just to get started, I'm gonna keep this video pretty short actually. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about um, breeding more business. So what I mean by that is your real estate business um, is going to flourish as time goes by. And you may see some real estate agents that have been in the game for two, three, four, even five, 10, 20 years. And they have this business that's just exploding. And how did they get to that point? So I kind of want to share a little bit of a personal experience that I had as a brand new real estate agent and how I saw that shift change and what I did to make that happen. So in all honesty, um, one of the first things I did was I kept in mind the fact that perception on social media is extremely important. So putting yourself out there on social media, making sure that you are previewing homes, even if you don't have any showings, uh, taking your camera, filming some video, putting it on your social media, asking people, hey, you know, I'd love to um, schedule this private tour for this beautiful three bedroom, two bath home in Lakeland, Florida. People don't have to know that it's not really your listing. You're promoting a listing. You are not giving too many details, not necessarily an address and all that good stuff, but you're just showing that there is a three bedroom, two bath home in Lakeland and you'd love to show it. Of course, I'm using Lakeland just as an example. Um, but I definitely think that previewing homes and putting it on social media, going live, doing a video like that, super important. Create Instagram reels um, with some of the footage in the home tour that you do. Um, another way to that, well, another way that I started with growing my business is doing open houses. So I haven't done an open house in a really long time, it feels, but I used to do open houses all the time and they weren't necessarily for listings that I had. In fact, I don't think I even had a first listing yet. So I was scheduling these open houses, going all out, get, you know, put, I remember during the holiday season, um, during October, I would put little mini pumpkins out with my business cards and balloons and a lot of signage and really made a big deal about it. And, you know, at the time I had the time to do that because I didn't have a lot of business under my belt. I highly suggest you do that because that's a great opportunity for you again to go live on video. Notice I keep going back to going live on video. Going live on video is so important because again, perception, it's a funny thing. How many of you who are watching this video right now can think about as you're scrolling through your different social media accounts and you think how wonderful somebody's life is because you see all the beautiful pictures, all of the wonderful smiles, but we don't really know what goes on behind closed doors, right? Well, it's the same thing with real estate. It's really no different uh, when you are, are on social media and you're looking at all of these open houses that are real estate agent is doing previews, people get this perception that, oh, wow, this person's really killing it already and they just started. Don't be quiet. Put yourself out there and go loud, you know, go big, go big or go home, right? So open houses. So we talked about uh, previewing homes, doing open houses. Another way for you to really make yourself um, start growing your business is of course the most important thing even though i started at number three um is prospecting you have to prospect you have to make some phone calls you have to cold call you have to call for sale by owners where do you find free for sale by owners if you don't have money to buy like uh leads or a dialer or anything like that well just go on to zillow for sale by owners, you can get free information, call them, learn your scripts, learn Kevin Ward scripts, learn, pick one script is what I suggest and stick with it. Um, I started with just the basic FISBO script to learning how to handle objections and then find somebody to role play with every single day. You have to role play as a real estate agent so that you can get comfortable and get good at uh, knowing your scripts. And when you actually have to put it into practice with somebody on the phone, actually not really into practice, but when you actually have to do it in real life with somebody on the phone, you're going to be so much better. Okay. So you're going to be calling, um, FISBOs, 
uh, cold calling if you can, cold calling meaning just dialing neighborhood leads and you're gonna get that information from like Red X, Vulcan 7, Mojo Dialer, all of those platforms will get you just basic neighborhood lead phone numbers that you can call. Even if you don't wanna spend the money on a dialer, for fairly cheap you can get just the neighborhood leads. Okay, so, so far we've got, um, I've lost my train of thought. We have, oh my goodness, previewing homes. So, so far we have previewing homes, open houses, uh, prospecting. Uh, what's another way for you to really stand out? Well, if you have the money at this point, now this is gonna take a little bit of, of financing, okay? But if you have some money, I would suggest, and I know some people that mentor me would say, Paula, why are you making this video and saying this? But I'm going to say it. I would suggest buying some leads. And the reason why is because in my opinion, business breeds more business. I don't know what it is, but it always seems like when, once I start doing one or two deals, I end up having three, four, five, and six deals. It's just the way that it works. Same thing with the number of listings. I think right now I have like five or six listings going on. One is live or two is pending or something like that, but then I've got a bunch already signed and they're gonna be live very soon. So it just seems like it's like a snowball effect if you would so if you start um, investing in your business um, back into your business and you do buy some leads you can just sort of get this momentum going you don't have to continue to buy the leads necessarily but i think it really starts giving you a leg up to um, really doing something um, with your business and helping your business grow so i hope these tips have helped you if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me um, i am part of a nation wide team. Um, if you have questions about that and you're interested in maybe getting some more guidance from somebody like myself or the person who mentors me, um, who's Brian Casella, I'd love to uh, talk to you about that. Definitely reach out to me, message me here, um, comment below and look forward to talk to you soon. Take care guys.